now you can see the guys your PC ran into a problems and needs to be restarted so I'm getting this error guys so if you are getting the same issue this video is for you you can see my system is not booting up and the error code is NTFS file system but whatever the error code you are getting this video is for you and you can see system is not booting anymore so in this video guys I will show you how to repair your system in this case so this is the common issue in Windows 10 or 11 you can see it is going into the preparing automatic repair options here so first of all I should tell you why you are facing this issue there are multiple regions behind this error the first one is hardware change the incompatible hardware you have inserted inside your hard drive or if you have installed the latest windows and that is corrupted also you are getting this issue if the registry files are missing and corrupted you are also going to get this issue as well and the fourth one is windows corruption if your window is corrupted so you can get this issue as well or sometime if the bad sectors inside your hard drive you are also going to get this issue in my case repairing this error this might take an hour so I have shut down my system so you need to do also same settings now turn it on and now once turn it on if window loads you need to force shut down it it is loading now just press the power key for almost 10 to now the again turn it on once window loads again forcefully shut it down like this again turn it on you can see again it is going to check disk now if you see preparing automatic or diagnostic your PC just leave your PC as default just leave now wait here we are going to access the advanced screen uh, in this case guys if you are not able to access this screen you can boot from your pen drive and then choose the option repair your PC now you will see the screen like this guys once you forcefully shut down your system you need to click on advanced options and click on troubleshoot click on advanced options again now we have couple of options here you can also try startup repair this will fix your issue in rare cases but we are going to fix in another way so we need to repair our corrupted registry here this is the most common issue your system is not booting so we need to take help from the command prompt open that up and this is the most powerful method to fix any kind of issues is if window is not loading so we need to type out the command so first of all we need to make sure guys the where the window has been installed it is basically installed in the C drive so we need to type a C colon and hit enter and then type a DIR hit enter now if you are able to see here the files program files windows users it means that you are in the right directory and if I press here D I have also virtual machines there and then type a DIR So you can see here I don't have any like uh, windows file here these are the virtual machines so it means that my window has been installed in the C drive so I need to hit the commands accordingly so I need to go back C colon and hit enter now let me 
now we are in the C drive so we are going into the system 32 folder we need to navigate the command cd space forward slash windows forward slash system 32 forward slash config hit enter now we are into the config folder if i press a dir you can see we need these five folders here default one sam security software and system so we need to first take the backup so type an md md backup hit enter so i have already done the backup of it so i am getting already exist so don't worry we have already done that so we need to type the command now now we need to copy the md backup folder so we need to type the command copy space asterisk shift plus 8 dot asterisk and then give a space and then the name of the folder backup and hit enter now once we hit enter we need to you can see already exists here so we need to press here a to override all the permissions now you can see 11 folder have been copied now we need to type a cd regback as shown on the screen or you can see here the command cd regback now if i press here dir to see the directory you can see i have numbers here like if I you can see numeric numbers 4960 if you have 00, 0 here you can exit out and you are not able to perform this step but if you have numbers like mine so you can perform the steps now here you may get also another error when you navigate to the regback system cannot find the specific path so you can also cannot proceed with the, this step so if you are able to access the system like mine default folder sam security and numbers before that so we need to copy all of them so type our copy space asterisk dot asterisk space and this time dot dot so this is a command and now hit enter now press here a capital a to all overwrite and yes now we can directly exit out from here just type exit and now let me turn off my pc and see if it fix the issue or not so it should fix our issue now since we have repaired the registry editor files now let me turn it on Now window is loading. Let's see. Now you can see issue has been resolved successfully and I'm able to log in into my windows. So if you are also able to access your windows, then well and good, your issue is fixed now. If not, we can move on to the second step. So in the second method guys, we need to again navigate to the same. Like you can hold the shift key. Let me hold the shift key. I have pressed the shift key and then restart it. 
so this is in the case if you are able to access the system uh, click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and again open the command prompt and we are going to repair the bed sectors so press here C again as before the type here D C H K D S K space forward slash F space forward slash R and then the drive letter where the window has been installed in my case it is in the C drive and you just need to hit enter guys here and press here Y and it is going to repair the bed sectors as well as the corruption inside your hard drive and windows so you just need to wait here guys it will go to the five stages so it may take some times like depending on your hard drive space or the SSD space but this is very powerful command to repair any kind of windows corruption so once it is done guys you just need to exit out from here it will automatically exit you need to wait here until it gets completed so I'm cancelling this process since it is going to take more time here it is going to four stage five stage is going to take more time as well so once this command is done turn off your PC and then turn it on again so it should fix your issue now if nothing is not working in your case so you can reset your PC here so keep your files the keep your files oh, so this is the last option guys if anything is not working on your system your personal data will be saved keep my files and remove everything will remove all the apps including your personal files and folders so choose keep my files here this option and choose here the local reinstall internet does not require while choosing the local reinstall but I have seen many corruptions uh, if window is higher corruption in your windows so this local reinstall is not going to help and this will download the file from the Microsoft website I mean the internet 4 GB is required for cloud download so choose accordingly and then you are good to go your issue should be fixed now so these are the steps guys to fix this issue so let me show you the so you can see here keep personal fire reinstall window from this device remove all the apps program that didn't come with this PC so only Microsoft Edge is going to remain in your inside your system so I'm going to cancel this for now you have to click on reset and you are good to go your issue should fix so this is how guys you can fix the issue your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart it so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share if still not it may be the cause of RAM basically 60 to 70 percent the hardware issue related to RAM to so change your RAM so thank you thanks for watching how to fix that